What is up? B breadwinner family. Welcome back to another video. My name is Jenny Hanson Lane. I've never shared this topic with you and I don't know why. And it is time. I'm talking about flip it for flip it. Good mastering the three ways to dominate domain flipping. So in 2020, that's when uh, clubhouse came out, right? And it was a really, really fun place to be. There were so many people that I'd never even heard of. It just really showed me how um, how ecosystems are, can be so tight knit. If you're only on Facebook, if you're only on YouTube, if you're only on LinkedIn. Okay. So clubhouse, I met all these people and they introduced me to domain flipping. So in this video, we're going to talk about buying and holding strategy. We're going to talk about domain parking. We're going to talk about auctions and marketplaces. Okay. So I wanted to introduce you. You need to follow this guy on Twitter or LinkedIn. His name is Ryan Colby. And he is actually the domain broker who helped the owners of Instagram acquire Instagram. Okay. So someone else already owned the domain name and his job is to legally set up the contracts to negotiate that. So it was obviously valuable, right? And that's the whole name of the game that Ryan focuses on is that he helps people as a broker to do this. And so I've done a, many trainings with him and I've talked to him on, uh, privately on Instagram and he's a really, really nice guy. His story is fascinating. And uh, I saw, you know, I need to go follow him on Twitter. I'm surprised I'm not following him. But he has been selling, you know, he has sold over $75 million worth of domains for his clients. And his his big breakthrough was around 2009, 10 when Instagram came out. So his website is Name Valor. And he's given me so many tips because when I met him, I was already really into domains. If I have an idea, I go buy a domain. And I didn't know that there was this whole digital real estate where you could buy and hold. And there's a lot of people, they do this as their business. There is actual conferences where you can go to, to learn about domains. And it's like the World Wide web. Some of these guys know Elon Musk before he sold his company to PayPal. So it's kind of like the, 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 um, pioneers, of the wild wild west of the 90s when the internet first came out okay so i have not sold any domains i've always done the buy the buy and hold strategy but i've always had a little bit of a i don't want to say emotional connection but that's kind of like i have a really good idea and i want to use the domain name for that i've been trying really hard for 2022 and 2023 not to buy as many and focus on my business. Okay. So domain flipping, it can be lucrative. It involves buying and selling domains for profit. And I'm going to show you the three ways that you can flip domains. And you need to have a certain bit of knowledge about the marketplace, like what domains would actually do good, because a lot of people buy domains and they don't know what they're doing. And there's so many extensions, right? Like dot XYZ came out and Ryan Colby is on the forefront of knowing what dot blank comes out. And I kind of got into that because it's really interesting. But the most, the most interesting thing to me is when you have a domain that can be bought for $12, $9. I'm sure some of you have found it for cheaper prices. I prefer to buy mine on Google domains. They're $12. There's no transferring awkwardness. I've bought some cheaper for like $1.99 or $8.99 on Nate name cheap. And I haven't had as good as an experience transferring those and, and setting them up. <clears throat> Pardon me. I've also bought some on who is, I think that's called post blue. There's somewhere I, they're like 99 cents, but I would not recommend going with them because they're not very user-friendly. So anyways, you get to decide. Okay. So the buy and hold strategy involves purchasing a domain name and holding on to it until its value increases. This can be a long-term investment as it may take time for the domain name to gain value. Make, to make this strategy work, you need to have a good understanding of the market and be able to identify domain names that have a potential for growth. 
You also need to be patient and willing to wait for the right buyer to come along. So you're paying that $12 a year, right? Sometimes you can get a better deal. And there are websites where you can go see which domain names have expired. So you can pick up some like when a business goes out of business, but it's still valuable because the SEO ranking and things like that. So I've had a domain name since 2018. It's three, no, it's three words. It's so short, three short words, and I'm going to write a book around it. And I, I've had it for five years and I haven't done anything on it. And I really need to, because I think it's very valuable. So there are websites that actually you can submit your domains names to, and they will create a logo for it and then sell it for you as a brand. And so those are always really powerful if you're not, if you don't have the design sense, but you want to go in and you want to flip domains, right? But you don't, you don't know exactly how there's so many different things. So when we talk about understanding the market, like we're in the ecosystem of YouTube growing our business online. So there are some trendy words and stuff that we hear and when you understand that, then you're able to think of clever words that go together. And with ChatGPT, there could be so many en endless possibilities of getting really profitable keywords that sound good together because the computer, the artificial intelligence is doing it for you, right? Um, number two, domain parking. Domain parking involves registering a domain name and placing ads on the site to generate revenue while waiting for a buyer. The strategy is useful when you have a domain name that receives a lot of traffic and has a high search volume. To make this strategy work, you need to find a reputable domain parking service and optimize your ads to attract clicks. You also need to regularly monitor your domain name performance and adjust your strategy accordingly. So during this time that I learned about domain names and was getting into this, I met a man named George. I probably shouldn't have told you his name. I won't tell you his website instead. He owns one of the most popular websites for vacations. And he has competed with the biggest hotels in the world that now the hotels pay him a monthly fee to advertise on his website. So he makes actually millions of dollars a month because once he figured out this worked with one domain name, of parking and selling ads to the big guys. He did it in multiple categories and niches. So this does take some work because you can build your organic reach, but I really haven't entertained any of this and I probably won't because my passion is not there, but I wanted to share it with you so you wouldn't miss any opportunity. With ChatGPT, there's so much content you can build around domain parking that it could be incredibly cool. Okay, number three, auctions and marketplaces. I kind of mentioned this uh, at the part of number one where you can actually tell others, companies, your domain name and they can build brands around it. Auctions and marketplace provide a platform for buying and selling domain names. The strategy involves finding undervalued domain names and reselling them at a higher price. And that in itself is a whole strategy, kind of like KDP and looking for keywords. To make this strategy work, you need to have a good negotiation skills and be able to identify domain names that are in demand. You also need to be aware of the fees involved in using auctions and marketplaces and factor them into your pricing strategy. So that's one, one reason why Ryan Colby is so good at what he does. He's the one that helped Instagram get Instagram because he knows this all in and out. So when people feel like they have a good domain name, they go to him and he brokers deals that can be very profitable. It is such a cool place to be and I am holding on to mine so I don't have as much experience, but I just wanted to share this with you because I find domain names where I'm like, that is cool. I could flip that or I could hold on to that. It can be profitable if you know what you're doing and just remember the three strategies if you're going to get into this, buy and hold, domain parking and auctions and marketplaces. And then I should have put a four like having a broker do it, right? Because now that I know Ryan, it's a huge advantage and he is going to be honest. There's been domain names that I'm like, what do you think about this one? 
and I already bought it. And he's like, this is good. This is good. Hold on to this one. Or I bought it. He's like, it's not that great. It's not that great. He has so much experience in it that it really makes it fun. So maybe go follow him on Twitter. It's important that you do your research and you understand the market before you just dive in and buy a bunch of domain names. So let me know if you have any questions or if you have any experience with domain flipping. I'd love to hear from you. Love you. Peace out.